This is Shri with Rehash Fiber. Today we're going to talk about the top five most useful fiber tools. And when I say that, I do not mean the loom, knitting needles, or crochet needles. Those are the tools you have to have to do that form of fiber art. I'm talking about the support tools that you could get by without in one way or another but that they make your life so much better and so much more enjoyable. So here we go. Number five, the Nitty Naughty. Thank goodness, after the yarn has been plied, that I have this to wrap it around because the options would be chairs, my hands, my arms, I just read about how they do it in the mountains of Peru without a nitty knotty, wrapping it around their arms, and it just seems like a whole lot more work. So I am very thankful for this tool. Also, I have measured from here to here so that I can easily figure out how many yards of yarn I have once I have this loaded up. So that is number five, the nitty knotty. Number four, the hand carters. Couldn't imagine not having these for any reason. If you want to do a lot of fiber with this or a little bit, if you want to blend, these are just great to have. They go in your tote bag when you're going somewhere, if you need to process something. And hand carters, fabulous. Frankly, I don't even know how you would handle the fiber without them except by just doing a lot of it by hand. This gets it all nice and organized and ready to go. You can make Rolex from it and they're just fabulous to have. Working up the list, I learned about this last fall. Who would have ever thought this would be on my list or that it would have taken this long for me to realize I could do this. Needle felt needle and mat. Somebody on Instagram showed me how to do this and it was like game changing because if you have a project and it has to be a wool, wool blend, I'm not sure how it will work with alpacas or anything else, but it makes it so much nicer because you can just needle felt your ends of yarn together and just keep on going. Whether it's a crochet project, a knitting project, Say you run into a knot in your yarn in the middle of a row that you're knitting. You can just cut it on either end, needle felt it together, and it is as strong as the yarn. It has also saved me from having to work in a lot of ends. It's made little balls of yarn much more useful. I can just work them in and keep on going. I did one project where I wanted to use a whole bunch of variety of colors of wool. So every time there was another skein of a different color, I just needle felt at the ends together and kept going. If I didn't have this, it wouldn't have been possible. I would have had way too many ends to have to weave in. So that is why this is number three. And probably the most affordable of all. You can find this on Amazon. Number two, the drum carter. What a way to process fiber. Get it all clean, bit fluffed up, stick it on the tray, move the drum, card it. When it's nice and full, you work the bat off and you have a beautiful bat of organized fiber that you can use on any of your spinning tools. I would not know what to do without this drum carter. It is just such a nice tool to have. Okay, drum roll, the number one most useful tool that I have and love, the Ashford e-spinner. My fiber life would be completely different without it. This thing is one beautiful, fantastic little workhorse. When I first got it, I used it for at least two hours a day, if not more. Now I have so many projects balancing out. 
it just gets worked in with the various projects that I'm doing. It is phenomenal and it's portable. I absolutely love it. So what I want to tell you is that I know some of these are very expensive and I just don't go out and just buy what I need at that moment. When I realize what I need, like these more expensive items, I get very creative. I, <laughs> I have gone through my house and found things I could sell on Craigslist so I could buy something. I sold a set of golf clubs that were still very good but had not been used for a few years and I didn't think I'd use them again. That is how I got my Ashford e-spinner. Other things, I put it on the request for a birthday gift. So there's different ways to go about it. I've gotten tips at work and I save those aside till I can buy something. So that's how that comes about. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the top five most useful fiber tools and happy fiber art. Thanks for watching. If you would like to join the Rehash Fiber community, click on the link in the description and give what you can.